Good morning and welcome to Now You Know. I'm John Marshall and with me this morning is Dave Johnson, my partner. Good morning, Dave. Morning, John. How are you doing? Good. I am liking the fact that you're going to be in the hot seat this morning because today we're talking about how to connect our Stripe account to go high level. And as always, we just start out by taking a look at our launch pad to see how we're doing. And you can see that we don't have our chat widget set to the website. It needs to be done. But right now we're focused on Stripe, connecting our Stripe account. And I'm going to let Dave walk us through this as I drive the application. So Dave, where do you want me to go? So obviously hit connect for Stripe. It'll bring you to the login for um, for Stripe. Okay. Oh, all right. This may go faster than you think. <laughs> it's connected. <laughs> <laughs> well, Done. There you go. That was real easy. Beautiful. Well, are you connected? To the right account did you connect it to johnmarshall.com um how do we check that well you log Thanks. into stripe when it asked you to log into stripe where did it ask you to log into it i thought it, it asked me to log into here okay so how do i check in stripe i'm in my stripe account johnmarshall.com go into payments or into payments. integration sorry in your account integration no no in in your go high level account Sorry, go high level yeah go to settings we're going to go to integration that's where i was heading and stripe is it connected it says continue so let's just see what it says so check that against your account make sure it's the right one Okay. Uh, it doesn't tell me which one it is. So how do Stripe is live? More what does it give angle. you? It gives you the numbers. It should be. It doesn't give me anything. What does that say? It just says Stripe is emoted. Uh, Stripe test mode is enabled. I mean. Here we go. Yeah. Account. ZQ00, what's my Stripe account here? And where do I find my Stripe account here? Uh, right there. I'm, I'm not sure where uh, the actual number. It'd be in your, your profile, I think. Going radar. Ah, I love the fact that it doesn't show. Or you can just disconnect it and reconnect it again. Home. Profile. Again, it does not show the account. You got to love this. I am certain I signed up to the right account here. So okay. I'm, then you're uh, good. There then we you, go. Then you're there's all the, set. There's the account number. That ties to the account number that we had. Mm -hmm. So that is great. So guys, that was super easy. Sometimes <laughs> you're going to have to copy an API over. So it will require, because we use Stripe a lot across a lot of accounts, Stripe itself knows our API. Um, and you may need to copy it over, but it will tell you that if it's necessary. And you're going to be able to come and get your API and take it over and life is good. So maybe, we're now connected. Maybe, maybe John show them the, the payment. Um area where Stripe ties into maybe just an overview of the invoice stuff and the what you can okay, do with well, let me just get back to where I was going first I'm going to yep. go back and uh, it's now checking and it shows us that indeed Stripe is connected that's good and we're there so payment is an area we'll get into so since he's brought it up we can talk more about it tomorrow but this is where you are able to do all your invoicing, build products. Uh, you can, and, and this is very, very in-depth and deep. So there's no way even in an hour I could tell you everything there is about invoicing and all the possibilities and variables and things. But just know that it is part of the go high level experience. And you're able to do it within a calendar event. You're able to do it within a 
um, a email, you're able to put invoicing as a standalone invoice, you're able to create products that are subscriptions. There's mm -hmm. multiple ways that you can bill your clients and track your clients, reoccurring one-offs, um, all sorts of things tied to funnels. There, there's just an endless array of what you can do here and a number of currency choices you have. We're in a default count of Canada. Uh, but let us look at our integrations here and it's still going to show me the same thing we had in integrations. I have not integrated the PayPal account. Um, that is a lot more complicated and uh, we can look at that another day. But we are inside here and we know that everything is looking good. You've got your tax settings that may be applicable that you're going to need to set up. And why don't we just add a tax right now? Uh, other than I'm going to have to go look up my number so this is the name of the tax is hst and the rate is here it's 13 percent description is canada goods and services and that happens to be my number i love the fact that it remembers things from other accounts <laughs> and i am going to add the tax so again you're going to name the tax you're going to put what the rate is so depending on where you're selling you may have multiple taxes if you have different issues in the states where it's different in every single state in canada we've got one harmonized tax across the country it's nice it's easy but i know in the us you've got 52 different tax jurisdictions and all sorts of different taxes that may or may not apply to your products so you can build out all the tax fields you need to meet your criteria and actually build them into portfolios later. So let's add this tax. And voila, we've added our first tax, which allows us to do things in our invoicing and we and to do it. And this tracks all the invoicing you've done, how much is outstanding, what's being paid. You can receive automatic payments where they're clearing through your Stripe or your PayPal, or you can do a manual payment. Let's say they decided to e-transfer you the funds instead. You can go in and post the payment and it tracks and does it. So these are all powerful things, which we will create a little later. So let us continue down the integration line. Yeah, uh, I just I just want to make one comment John, sure. for everybody is that went so fast. Last time John and I basically hooked up a, and a Stripe account was what, three, four, five, six months ago? Yep. This just shows you how fast Go High Level is moving, right? I would say weekly there's a new feature or a new upgrade or a new, you know, that was unheard of six months ago to, to just go and hook up your Stripe as fast as that. Yeah, right. that, that, is, that, that is actually true. And, and one of the things that, you know, a lot of things in the beginning we did through Sapphire, which is an integration, a generic API application that lets you bridge between applications. And it took work and things. But what is amazing is that a, Go High Level has made their API more and more robust, allowing more and more direct connect without having to do anything. And here's a great example. We did literally have to go in and do code work at um stripe before to make this happen now we don't and these are things that are there and as dave said i would claim as much as dave and i work and how much time we spend on this i think i probably know about maybe 80 percent of the features uh and i probably know how to use about 45 percent of them well mm -hmm. it is just so rich so deep so robust that virtually anything you can imagine there's a way to do and what we've learned even if they haven't called it what we would may refer to it there is a combination of events that will allow you to accomplish virtually anything and everything you need to inside your uh, experience so again i'm hoping if you're watching this you already have signed up for the 14-day free trial or even better yet you've already bought and you're a user and you're just looking for insights and things to do if you are a user put comments in the line below down in the comment area and we'll do videos specifically addressing your issue we'll do longer videos in 10 minutes if you've got a specific issue you'd like to learn about and we'll do a step-by-step -step walk you through all we're trying to do in these little 10 minutes is give you a taste show you the power let you see that there's virtually nothing that you can't do in sales and marketing through go high level and it is as every week they announce new features new enrichments new enhancements they listen to the community as it uses it and broaden the depth of the modules some modules were light one of the things we talked about yesterday as we wrap up this morning was whatsapp 
So there is a social media component to this. And if you guys remember in my overview, it's down in, in the marketing and it has social, I, I guess I gotta let you see that if it makes sense, there you go. It's in the marketing tab and it's social media planner and it lets you link your Facebook, your Instagram, your Google and your LinkedIn products together. It also now with messaging will let you tie in WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Google Messenger, and soon it's linking in LinkedIn's Messenger. So without ever having to leave this platform, you can bring in all the communications from your clients, manage them and track them in one contact place, which is the power here, guys, is that from this, you've got all the, the communication with your client in one contact place. So you know everything that went on from your text messaging, your Facebook messaging, your emails, everything in one spot. So you can see the history of the conversation, go back and do it and do it from your desktop. Or what I love is the fact that all of it works on your cell phone. So when I'm out and about and people are messaging, I don't have to go, oh man, I gotta get to my laptop to, to do this. I just load the Go High Level app on my phone and bam, I'm in my account and I'm responding to the client in real time and the system is fully tracking and integrating it. And it makes life so much easier. Guys, that's our time for today. Dave, you get the last word this morning. Oh, that's it. Um... Like I say, we've got a lot of um, content to cover because there is so much with uh, with Go High Level. And um, we just hope you join us and stick around. And like John said, put the comments down below and we'll try and uh, try and get a video going that will fix your uh, GHL problem. <laughs> that's so it. that's now, you know, for the last for Friday of the last, well, it's the first week of July. We'll be back next Monday. We only do this Monday to Friday. Have a great day. Hope we answered your questions. We see you and go high level. Take care.